That's where I see God's glory shine the brightest. They're pretty. Look at them, Caitlin. I know. Look at them. They're turkeys. No, they're running. You hear him? Tracks all over. Nice. On the edges. Is that fun, Caitlin? Go! Middle. Caitlin, what's today? Did you say Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving. Okay, everyone look at the camera. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Good Gibson. Uh, <laughs> say Thanksgiving. Thank you. Gibson. Oh. Oopsie. Good Gibson. You're probably going to put on another paper here. So today it is Thanksgiving and we are making leaf collages. A while ago, Caitlin and I went out and gathered different leaves before they all went away and dried them. And now we're making pictures and she's having a ball, it looks like. Are you excited for the food? Very. I'm so hungry. <laughs> oh. And I'm excited to cook that pheasant this weekend. Yes. We're going to try it a new way. So it's going to be really good. Yes. Here's a picture right there. First bird of the year. How many days of, elk, of pheasant season are left? Like a week. <laughs> out of a month. <laughs> How many times have you went out before getting a pheasant? Before bringing one home? Yes. Oh, I don't like that answer. Um, it's been, I've gone out like 10 times. <laughs> oh, don't, don't pull them apart. Sorry, Caitlin. Okay, back to you. Okay. Which side do you want down? We're very excited about it though. I'm very proud of it. Hopefully tomorrow. There should have been a lot of birds out there today, but the state is a little disappointing this year. They are not releasing them like they're supposed to be. Hmm. Good job. That the one you want to do next? Okay. Okay. Got it? Okay. Now let's get some glue on it. These lights. <laughs> yeah, our light bulb went out in the living room, so we got new ones. And holy cow, these LED lights are amazing because the light's white and bright, so just they're awesome. I'm like two weeks. Yeah, Daddy's putting glue on them for you. See? Now put that one down where you want to. Where do you want it? Over here. Okay, push what? it down. Push it down. No, I got. You ready, Caitlin? Yeah? You like that sky dog? <laughs> yeah. Locked in. You excited, honey? You're gonna go see the kitty cat and grandma. <laughs> oh. She's trying to find the birds. I think Grandma's listening to worship music, Caitlin. I can hear it. Hello. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, yeah, she is. You ready to have a feast? 
get some orange. What you making there, Caitlin? Turkey hands. Turkey hands? Yeah. Some mama turkey and a baby turkey, huh? Okay, let's see it. We gotta call her that. What'd you find? A necklace. Oh, that was a delayed answer. Oh, my face is getting detailed. He's gonna do all sorts of things. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, yeah, he's looking at the thing over there. Oh. I'm gonna check out what the feathers look like and try and copy it. Yep. Cool. <laughs> you gonna color two at once. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get a little ad. What? Where's the other blank? Oh, there it is. I put it. I thought I put it in there. Well, you guess you put the short one in there. Uh Hi, Nala. I got you last night. Hi, you big cat. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> so you, you big dog. Not as big as you, huh? Hi. 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 Can I hold your dog? Is right there? Oh, God. He's a big one. Where'd you get it? In the store. In the store, yeah. I got Gypsy's house. She's got... More pie? Better, better, better. Did you have a good time, Caitlin? Hanging out? Yeah. Good. Are you ready to ha go have some more fun? Oh, bless you. Need a wipe? Who are you going to go play with? Jackson, Bella. Jackson and Brenna. You excited? Yeah. I'm going to play with him. I'm going to play my friends. Yes. Oh, that plate for Marilyn. Come in, come in. Yeah, come in. Please don't say hello. I'm not here to stop. That's not Coco. Yeah, they're their dog. Oh. Okay. See you later, doggy. Bye bye. Hey, Lynn, here she is. <laughs> oh. Hi, doggy. Well, it's Looks like a desert in there. <laughs> Used to be full of grass in there. Hi, Coco. Hi. Hi. Do you think she stays pretty warm in here? Yeah. Now that we have the hay bill. Yeah. She's got a like nice house. A cold, but she has the house. So I bet she's nice and warm at night. Treated, which is, she has a big tub of water. Two distinct water. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like her. Hi, she's so nice. She's a lot calmer than the last time I saw her. That's probably because it's colder. Mm. <laughs> you don't wear shoes either? Like your brother? I like wear shoes. <laughs> but there's no, the dog. Tell me what you just said. 
Who are you? Princess Caitlin? Yeah. Tell me who you are. Your whole name. A nene. Say what you just said. Anna. Oh, no. Oh, you're so tired. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, so, um, at Thanksgiving dinner at my mom's house, my grandmother said something about Marilyn. I'm like, oh, Marilyn. So Marilyn's my great aunt who is currently in a nursing home because she's elderly. Like, she just needs to be taken care of by professionals, unfortunately, because it was just too much weight to bear for my grandma. And, like, there's just not enough support to do anything. Anyway, so I decided I'd bring her a, some pie and one of the rolls that we had. And I asked her how her day's been. And apparently they didn't really do, like, a... Thanksgiving meal or whatever for the residents. I don't know, but she said she didn't have a proper Thanksgiving meal. So I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow and share some of our Thanksgiving meal with her. I, in coming to visit my aunt here, like I, we've been coming here for a while. She's been here for a while and I try to get here. Not as much as I should get here, but I do try to get here, here to see her. If there's anything I've learned like recently, especially since becoming a parent and like to Caitlin to a medically needy child, is that um, those of us who are the weakest, who need the most help, who are the sickest, the most broken, that's where I see God's glory shine the brightest, is on the lowly, the broken, the needy. Because that's who he came for, right? He came for us who are broken and like, I'm broken. I've been a very broken person for a very long time and I never could make sense of it until coming into relationship with Jesus Christ and discovering truths about myself and about my past and why things have been the way they are. And that, like learning that, it heals me and gives me strength so that I can allow him to heal that brokenness inside of me and then share love with others. So by letting Christ kill me and then by doing like when I see an opportunity to push the kingdom of heaven forward and I'm like oh man like that heals me even more because I mean I know what it's like to be forgotten and left out and hurt and I just strive to not do that to others. I'm not good at it. Most of the time I'm a butthole human. But I'm trying my best. It's just such a good reminder that like this world is broken. There's a lot of broken things, institutions, I don't even know but do know that Christ he was also broken on the cross and before he went on the cross when he was tortured and beat the only person who didn't deserve any punishment or brokenness and he became broken for us to fulfill the plan and um, if I can just show even just a tiny bit of a sacrifice I don't know I'm not trying to say that I'm like trying to be like Jesus or that I can do more than Jesus or anything like that I just I don't know, it all works together. Knowing how broken Christ was, knowing how broken I've been and how broken my life has been, and then seeing the brokenness around me. And I can't fix any all of it. I can't fix most things, really. I mean, I'm pretty powerless over the action or inactions of other people and things. I can try my best to jump up and say, I'll be there, I can help you. I'm just so thankful for Thanksgiving. I'm grateful to live in a, country and in a, like a state where the word of Jesus is okay to say like the, the name of Jesus what am I trying to say I don't know what I'm trying to say I guess I'm thankful to be here I'm thankful for my relationship with Jesus Christ I'm thankful for what he's doing in my life and I'm thankful to have the power to carry that out and share it with others if anyone's broken been broken and sinful and fallen so far down it's me like Almost like I was literally almost killed by my sin because the Bible says the wages of sin is death But thank goodness God had a different plan and decided to lift me and say look, okay, it's time to start over Looking at me now you never would have think thought that I uh, Was almost sent to prison. That's where sin led me to my life is so totally opposite that now opposite of that nowadays and especially since coming into relationship with Jesus Christ and making him the Lord of my life like life has gotten even better and harder like life is hard but a relationship with Jesus there's just I couldn't have it any other way I don't think I could even uh, get myself out of bed properly without the Lord's help because I'm pretty helpless and human and I, I make so many mistakes grace allows room for error uh, God designed us to be that way right 
so that like we are well aware of our humanness and our brokenness so that we lean on him and him alone all so i hope you had a good thanksgiving if you celebrate it i think it's pretty much just like an american holiday i'm pretty sure no one else outside of the country or maybe like my couple hundred friends on facebook watches my videos but that's okay because i have something to say and i like to make videos so that's what i'm doing but um yeah i hope you got to get nice and fat and sassy and spend the day with people you love um this vlog was kind of all over the place but just tried to capture some uh, moments i guess so now it's time to go home to the hooligans guacamole now okay tell me what are you dipping your chips in what's this broccoli what is it broccoli <laughs> Holy cow. oh do i need to just go get my own <laughs> this is after eating a ton of my pasta a hungry hippo tonight Not a lot to share with her but yeah i'm gonna get my own my own there you can you can have that and you just like that camera. Look, do you want to see what I made? Okay, yeah. Let's... Getting... What are those? Bacon. Well, this is definitely making the most out of the one kill this year, so. Yeah. Might as well make it really good. Yes. I'm excited about it. Do all of them have pheasant? Every one of them has a piece of pheasant on it. Oh, wow. So they don't have a lot on some of them. Come on, that's I kind of like to eat that. You kind of like to eat that. This is the Sunday after Thanksgiving, so he got the bird just a few days ago.